if you don't have plans to go out with your kids, you'll want to be aware of more people out there on the streets tonight. Colorado State Patrol says Halloween is one of the deadliest nights of the year for pedestrians. Your first alert traffic tracker, Brian Sherrod, joins us live from a neighborhood in Denver. And Brian, troopers say for starters, parents need to make sure their kids are visible for drivers to see. And that's exactly right, Michelle. Troopers are saying that these kids should at least have glow sticks or flashlights with them. If possible, have a light colored costume or just add some brightness to it. So neighborhoods like this one, when you actually see kids walking by, drivers are actually able to see them too. Now, I spoke with Colorado State Patrol and they say kids are usually out trick or treating between 5 p.m. to 8 p.m. These are considered nighttime hours. Parents remind your kids while trick or treating to stay on the sidewalk and look both ways before crossing the street. Drivers, remember to stay alert and drive slower in neighborhoods. Troopers also recommend not letting kids younger than 12 go trick-or-treating by themselves. We want the kids to make it back safely with their candy. Knowing that it's Halloween night is one of the deadliest nights of the year. So just be aware there's children out there. You don't want to be responsible for the death of a child just because you're speeding to get where you needed to be. We all need to work together. We want all our kids to come home with treats. Now, also one big thing, don't walk around with headphones tonight because you want to make sure you're not walking around distracted and you want to always make sure you can hear your surroundings, especially in case of emergencies. Live in Denver, I'm Brian Sherrod covering Colorado First. All right, Brian, thank you. Election Day is less than.